Hi, hello, welcome to Jiril Vikram Academy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a small demo on how to use GoToTag in MATLAB Semelic. Uh, here we have got a model which is a half adder test harness model in which we have got a signal builder which will inject uh, testing signal to the half adder model and we have a scope where we look at the results okay which has got input a and b signals and output as sum and carry okay for example if you have a model which you have got more signals yeah if they are getting like those lines are getting zigzag yeah and they are not looking good we can uh, with all crisscrosses in the model okay in that case if you want to make your uh, simulic model uh, zip, uh, cross uh, make your model like zigzagging of lines free we can use go to tags okay i will show you how to use those go to tags okay uh, first double click on the space and type go to signal okay you will get a go to signal and uh, you can connect this here okay this is the source and in the destination also uh, if you just just um, uh, take your mouse onto the right side of the go to tag you will get a arrow as shown in the blue just click drag okay click and drag okay it has created a destination you can connect it okay it is go i will make the block name on and here it is where you want the uh, tag to go okay go to from i will delete this signal now and i can connect it okay this is your signal a you can make it as a in a similar way i will just uh, uh, just control drag and drop i will connect this to the b signal okay b signal double click on it if you want to change the name i will change it to b okay a similar way i will just take my mouse onto the right side of this go to tag one let's drag and release i will make this uh, signal name on format show block on okay i will delete this signal as well and I will connect it here. I will name this one as P. Okay. I will do the same here as well. I can delete these two signals. Okay. I will just control, drag and release. Okay. This one. Control, drag and release. Okay. this as well control tag and release i can name this as okay sum name this as sum i will name this as sum i will name this as carry okay this drag and drop and I will turn this as carry okay in the same way I can delete this as well okay you can drag and drop here Can drag and drop and the input as well. I can make like everything neat and tidy. Okay, 
this is like no connection at all now okay now we will run the test as we can run one test now there is no zigzag or crisscrossing of the signal lines okay if you want to change the color also want to change the color okay so the background going to make green you can make this green okay you can color it as well each input you can color it okay so green make every signal the same go to format right click color green okay i will make this change this uh, background color as blue this is very dark and change it background color and take this blue okay Okay, you can make this output color also. You can change the output color also. Okay. You can change this color as well. Okay. And go for gray. Okay. This is how we can make your model. Uh, like lines free crisscrossing of lines free by using go to tax in a simple way okay and uh, we'll check whether your model is working correctly or not we'll just save it okay run it and check it okay yeah, in this case we can break it. Zero zero, sum is zero carries zero. One zero, sum is zero carries zero. Uh, zero one, sum is zero, one carries zero. And A is one, B is one, sum is zero and carries one. Okay, it is working fine. It is behaving same as when we use the uh, line connections, and those line connections are replaced by using go to tags. Okay. In this video, we have learned how to use go to tags in a simple way in our Simulink model. Thank you very much for your time, guys. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Jalil Begum Academy channel for more interesting uh, Simulink tutorials. Thank you. Bye for now.